everyone, it's Teresa, uh, here to do another video. Um, it is going to be another cooking video. I decided that I want to think about the type of story I want to put out there um, before I go putting it out there. So, but tonight I'm making a really quick and easy meal. Um, it's going to be chicken, uh, and it's chicken breasts. Um, one thing I do want to show everybody is that I buy these, this package of Purdue, and on the bag it says that our chickens are raised with no antibiotics, no, I mean, an all veg vegetarian diet, and no animal byproducts, which I can really appreciate, and so does my family. Um, another thing I like about it is I am very OCD about my chicken. It has to be super clean. Um, some people, I don't know, they just rinse it. I have to clean it. I have to rip off layers of slime and all that stuff. Anyway, um, the pieces of chicken that come are nice pieces of chicken. You get like this. And the nice thing about it also is that they come in individual packages like this. And I have five pieces of chicken right now ready to get uh, to start cooking on. And this is all the fat that I got off all five pieces. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is with, with me and my family, we don't like a lot of seasoning on our chicken breast, so I just season with salt and pepper. Uh, if it were chicken legs, chicken thighs, we definitely would be putting some more seasonings on. Um, but I'm going to be breading the chicken breast, so that's going to give it a lot of flavor as well. So um, I have my chicken already salted and peppered. The other thing I wanted to show is I'm going to be using some flour for breading and I am also going to be using some breadcrumbs. And um, the, some people may find this strange, but I find it very easy and a simple thing to do. But I get extra bags, uh, these type of grocery bags, from the store. I grab them, um, extra ones, so you know that they're clean. And what I do is I fill it up as of right now. I have my flour in there. And I will, will be putting in my breadcrumbs in just a sec here. But because I moved the bag, I'm trying to adjust it so it's back the way I had it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and add some breadcrumbs. I don't put a ton, but... And that's all I do. I grab the bag, and I mix it. Mix it all up. I have to use another hand, so I'm doing the best I can right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I, that's all I do. And then I take each piece of chicken, and I have to make my egg wash yet, but normally I dip it in the egg wash, and then I throw each one of my pieces of chicken into the bag, shake them up, and for the most part, they're pretty much breaded as, you know, as best as you're going to get them, you know, e even if you did them by hand. It, this works so simple, it's so easy. But I'm going to go get my egg wash, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, um, I now have all my chicken, all five pieces, in the egg wash. And they're just soaking up a little bit of the egg. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put them in the breading. And I'm going to have to have my oil prepared again um as far as oil goes yeah i use a lot of olive oil but when i'm frying um i'm using just plain old vegetable oil again um and i'm just using very little of the vegetable oil to fry five pieces of chicken 
and I just dropped the oil, but thankfully it fell in my pan. But that's it. I'm put enough to coat the bottom of it. Uh, and I can't. I don't even know if you guys can tell by the pan. And yeah, that's the same pan I used my beef for my beef stroganoff. That's my very handy dandy pan my daughter got me for Christmas one year. And I was very happy. I should say my daughter, my son-in-law, and my grandkids. Um, but yeah, that's what I got for Christmas a few years back from her. And I love it. It's my go-to pan for just about everything. Um, but again, my hands are greasy, especially since the oil fell. But um, like I said, thankfully it fell in my pan, not anywhere else. But uh, right now, I'm going to go ahead and start breading the chicken. I'll show you what the chicken looks like as soon as it's done. Okay, uh, I got my chicken breaded. got my oil ready. I'll show you what the chicken looks like. This is the five pieces of chicken, all breaded. Again, that's with flour and breadcrumbs and some salt and pepper. So, I am going to place my chicken down and I'm going to start putting it into the hot oil. And you want to make sure it's nice and hot. Not too hot that it starts to burn the chicken. But hot enough that, you know, as you add the pieces, it doesn't start to um, make the oil too cold. As you can see, it's staying nice and hot. I can fit one more, I think, right now. And as they start to cook down, I'll add the last piece. But um, while I did that, I also boiled my water because I'm making macaroni and cheese. Um, not from a box, but it's a very easy way to make um, mac and cheese. And all I do is I use some Velveeta. Uh, the large chunk of Velveeta, uh, cut it up into squares. I use about two tablespoons of butter, which I'm going to go ahead and add to my hot noodles. Put the butter in there, if you can see that. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my cheese that I have already cut up into squares um, and then I'm going to start it's a bit close there for a second <laughs> but uh, I'm going to start adding the pieces to my macaroni and like I said I just cut them into squares like this and then I just throw them all over my pasta because my chicken is going to cook fairly quickly. So I want to try to get this done as fast as I can. There's the pasta. I better lower the chicken a little bit. And just adding the rest of these pieces but because I can't seem to do it it's a little difficult to do it with one hand you know normally I have both hands free so I decided to put them on me uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and dump the rest of these in the pot throw my paper away and show you the cheese in the pot. And for right now, all I'm going to do is place my lid on it and let it start to melt some and, and rinse my hand again. <laughs> uh, I try to do all my dishes while I'm in the middle of cooking when I get a chance. So I hate to have a ton of dishes afterwards, even though usually I don't do them. Uh, but I'm gonna check my chicken because they are 
thinner pieces and because of the way my pan well I should say my stove as I talked about yesterday the way it cooks sometimes I have to twist the pot around the pan around so that uh, it gets an equal uh, color to each piece of chicken and now I'm able to add my last piece of chicken and I'm going to do that now yes a lot of people probably would say oh no don't do that but I make sure my chicken cook well um, I like very uh, juicy chicken so does my family except for my daughter she likes her chicken dry don't know where she gets that from but uh, right now I'm gonna let it cook when it's ready for me to flip I'll show you what it looks like so I'll be back in a sec unfortunately the way my pan cooks a couple of the pieces of chicken are ready to be flipped so I'll show you what it looks like That's what it should look like. Well, that one could have used a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'll cook it a little longer. Uh, see, some of these aren't ready to be flipped yet. But I have to turn them around so they get that evenness to them. That's the one I just put in. Uh, something I did want to say uh, was that it's funny because when I put on the camera, usually I pretty much know what I'm going to start to say, what I'm going to talk about, and then the camera gets on and I completely lose my train of thought. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to say. I get nervous and flustered, but I'm sure with time, they'll, it'll become a little bit easier for me. But because it's all new to me, I sometimes get, you know, a little nervous. <laughs> but um, another thing I want to say is I don't always cook my chicken in oil. I actually got a deep fryer for Christmas. And I usually use that. But it's a, it's a smaller uh, air fryer, so um, it takes me a little bit longer to cook the food because I have to cook them... Uh, separately you know I could probably fit about two pieces of this chicken in there by itself but um, I'd be cooking you know for a lot longer if I did it that way and sometimes I do like I said but today I started cooking dinner late again so I decided to just go ahead and fry them but everybody loves them that way too uh, another thing I wanted to say, if I didn't already say it in the beginning, I can't remember. Uh, yesterday, when I made my first video, I probably retook that video, I'd say about four different times. I had to restart it uh, because I was so nervous. Uh, today, I only had to restart it twice, um, which is pretty good. Uh, I have to say, I, I think so. But what I wanted to say was I have already gotten 57 views. And I want to say thank you to everybody who's watching my videos. And videos. Um, I didn't quite get as many subscribers. Uh, still working on that. And hopefully the more videos I put up, uh, the more subscribers I'll get. But continue to share this with your friends. You know. If each person shares it with their friend and their friends share it with their friends, I'll start to get subscribers so fast. But, um, yeah, just if you could do that, that'd be awesome. And let's go ahead and check my chicken again. This piece is ready. And this piece is ready. And that's ready. I may have to cook a little longer on that one, but see what I mean about 
how it cooks. As you can see, this one's a lot darker because I had to flip. Now I gotta flip again to get these a little more even. I hope I'm getting that in view, full view for you guys. But yeah, that's it. Uh, now I'm just gonna let them sit again. Um, and as far as the mac and cheese, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I did that already. I put it on low, added some milk to it, and I'm going to mix it a little bit, and hopefully I could do that while you guys watch. I didn't add a lot of milk, just a little bit uh, to help. Uh, just to mix it well and you know uh, obviously the cheese needs to melt a little longer so I may have to put the heat up a little bit more but I did just want to get the cheese mixed around throughout the pasta so it gets around it evenly so I'm gonna let that cook a little longer too um, and as you've seen, the chicken's almost done. I'm going to go ahead and grab my handy dandy paper plates. I love my paper plates. Some things we can't always use paper plates for, but for dinners like these, we definitely can. And I appreciate it because it does leave less uh, dishes. <laughs> but. I'll be back as soon as chicken is ready. Okay, my chicken is just about ready. One of the things I like to do is I always, always like to check the temperature of the meat to make sure that it is cooked thoroughly, but just enough um, that it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to start taking few pieces out right now and one of the things I said I was grabbing paper plates thinking I was putting my chicken on there no one of my tricks is I put it on a rack so that it can breathe in between each piece uh, so that you keep the crunchiness to the meat uh, I don't know if everybody knows that but I think it's a handy idea to keep your meat nice and crispy as crispy as you make it and my uh, also my mac and cheese is coming along great uh, but I gotta finish pulling out some of this meat before it dries out on me but I still have another one I think it's the one I just put in late but I definitely have to check I'll uh, put my thermometer in and check make sure that there's three more pieces still left in there because of the fact that they are a little bit of fatter pieces so I want to make sure that they're cooked um, so I'm checking the piece I put in last and like I said these cook really fast uh, let me grab my spoon and we'll take a look at the Mac and as you can see, it's becoming very creamy. That's the mac and cheese. There's still some pieces that need to melt. It's not completely melted down yet. But I did add quite a bit of salt while I was preparing the pasta. So I won't add any more to it. Sometimes I do. But today, I'm not going to do that. If anybody feels they need more salt, they can put it on. And as far as pepper goes, everybody can put their own pepper on. Uh, I know a lot of people like uh, like it with um, pepper. But yes, my chicken is ready to come out. So I'm going to finish grabbing these real quick. This was the last piece I put in. And it's already ready, so uh, like I said, they don't take long to cook. 
I'm taking those out right now. And that's it for the chicken. And I will be back in a sec when I start to plate up the meal. Okay, everything's done. Chicken's done. All taken out. And now I'm going to plate the food. And as usual, the youngest always gets served first in my house. So I'm going to serve my grandson his food first. Um, let me grab the pot first. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have moved that first. Can you grab that, please? Thank you. Ah, uh, but I'm gonna serve him his now. And that's what the plate of food looks like. And I know we should have vegetables with it, but we don't. But we will. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos again. And tell everybody to like, subscribe, click the bell so you know when another video comes out. And please leave a comment. It helps my videos. Gets me uh, a little more popular on there. So again, thanks again. And everybody have a great night. Over and out.